hello everyone welcome to the new video so today we will discuss about cloud migration so let's go we will discuss about cloud migration strategies this uh, also i got in the comment section uh, laid back so i missed it uh, but today i have uh, like brought this video out so basically cloud migration is mostly happening in many organization whether it is you know migrating to another service in the same cloud or whether it is from different cloud to another cloud or whether it is from on prem to cloud so nowadays if you have knowledge about cloud migration uh, so that is also a plus point that you can showcase in your cv that you have done cloud migration or you have knowledge about cloud migration so basically there are many methods uh, that we can uh, you know use to migrate our cloud but uh, you know uh, just giving a gist in uh, and just giving a simple uh, in a uh, letting you know it in a simple way suppose we have a java based application that we that was that is currently on azure that is hosted on azure we are providing that application hosted on azure to our customers okay so those um, that, that application is running on aks uh, and uh, the database that we are using in azure is azure postgresql flexible server okay and then uh, uh, there are you know uh, the networking same networking concepts we are using that is like uh, using the nsg and then you know um, all this um, and then uh, now we are deciding to move it to aws correct so we need to what should be our first plan we need to understand that whatever we are using right now in azure which service is equally there in aws like which service correspond to the service that we are using in azure so aks is similar to eks okay postgresql service uh, there are many database in aws uh, the uh, first is aro like the the most fastest and the services that are mostly managed by the cloud itself aurora database and it is their database then there are you know uh, rds and then uh, it has many uh, you know uh, di uh, uh, many databases service so it is our you know um, a plan to decide that which database we will go for which database service we will go for and you know which postgresql we will use or mysql we will use or whatever what we will use okay then uh, 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 all the networking that how we are gonna uh, like in aws there are aws accounts and there are regions okay but in azure it is not that case there are no uh, region specific thing or there are no aws accounts okay so uh, that we need to uh, figure out like uh, there are region specific things in azure too but mostly the accounts are not there aws accounts so uh, there are organization then there are member accounts then there are resource group and under resource group we have uh, you know uh, mentioned our uh, vms the resources of our application but here we don't in um, aws we don't have a concept of resource group we have aws accounts okay resource group concept is not there so uh, what should, uh, so understanding the services uh, is very important the basic services networking and then designing the application system design is very important uh, first of all that what all services we are going to use and what on what all services we are going to migrate after understanding the services we should uh, understand that what should be our migration strategy to do it like we have these strategies rehost like move as is 
just lift and shift we are not going doing any changes we are not exploring any options because in aws we have serverless also and we have you know ec2 um, we have serverless like ecs and we have uh, many services which are serverless we have fargate we are not exploring anything in azure we were using vms and in uh, uh, aws ec2 is similar to it so we we will be using the uh, ec uh, ec ec2 now and uh, the same you know whatever the memory whatever the storage we were using in azure same image we are same type of ami we are choosing over here in aws so uh, this is known as rehosting means nothing change we are doing we are just using the same services which are similar to the services in azure and we are uh, hosting our application on that refactor is we are modifying little bit modifying we have used little bit uh, different uh, apps uh, for our cloud and little changes we have done okay uh, then comes re-platform like refactor means that little bit changes we have done like earlier our uh, application was uh, monolithic architecture now we are uh, changing it to microservice architecture and then we are for accordingly we are deciding that what all services we are going to use and then we are doing the migration re-platform is we are changing to like little bit uh, services we are changing we are cha earlier we were not using fully cloud managed services but now we are shifting to fully cloud managed services like aurora database then uh, you know repurchase like switch to saas solution retire like moving the obsolete uh, asset and retain mean keep some system on prem it is like keeping the hybrid mode on some in azure some in aws or some on uh, on prem some on cloud uh, that is the retain uh, part retire means we will uh, whatever like the services are old now that are not been used so we are discarding everything and we are again making the changes full architecture design everything and we are designing it then uh, what all services we need to use for this migration that that is very uh, important to understand that what all services we will use for migrating the database for migrating you know the application uh, the load balancer just switching the tra traffic everything what all services we are going to use that we should chalk out and then um, we need to monitor it so firstly basically what you can tell that uh, in my organization also the migration happened from azure to aws so what we were doing we were not we were following the uh, you know this try host we were not doing anything we were not changing anything the same that was there in azure we were shift uh, same we was uh, we were shifting to aws that we were that we were doing for that, uh, firstly, we tried it out in our, um, you know, in our uh, internal environment where we try to migrate everything, uh, you know, uh, everything manually. So first of all, uh, what was migrated? First of all, the backups, backups were done, the database and everything. The backup was uh, done, and then uh, first uh, the database and uh, database was migrated. So for that, we were using the database migration uh, service. Uh, we migrated that data, and then uh, in uh, a database migration is there will be a source uh db and there will be a target db there in database my uh, our dms uh, service uh, that needs uh, that it should be accessible from both the source and the target and then after that we need to once the you know settings are done target uh, the network is accessible and everything we need to start uh, the uh, migration uh, we have to specify that what will be the schema what are tables we have to migrate and we will see on the console that it has started migrating the data 
so this is how we have done the database migration and then uh, for the apps uh, we use ek so we have to create the you know uh, node groups and uh, uh, like eks infrastructure and then we after creating the eks we need we need to you know manually log in and deploying the pods so this was the manual steps that we did and once the uh, this testing was done on the internal environments then we migrated the data started migrating the data uh, for the customer environment by taking the downtime and everything so this is how you can explain uh, so yeah that's all so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye